seeing, where we're going, and uh, you know, answer some of those questions that we might might be wondering. I'm very pleased to welcome. I believe we have him on the air. I'm very pleased to welcome uh, via phone, via telephone, uh, the mayor of the city of Vaughan, Maurizio Bebulacqua. Ciao, Maurizio. Sorry, I think we're just uh, waiting to connect with, is he there? Yes, I'm here. It's uh, great to have you uh, uh, on our program today. This is uh, unique for us. Normally you're in, you're live in our studios, but nonetheless, it's great to be uh, talking with you today. Yes, and we're being responsible by practicing uh, social distancing. As you know, that's uh, a way to keep uh, this uh, COVID-19 from, from spreading. And this is the responsible thing to do. That's why we're doing it. And as you know, Andrea, we've often speak about this. We are indeed uh, living through unprecedented uh, times. We're navigating uncharted waters uh, while we do the best we can to uh, keep ourselves and our loved ones uh, safe. And uh, here at the city of Vaughan, we're, we're doing all that we can to, to make a contribution. And uh, it is really important for me to express my gratitude uh, to the citizens of Vaughan uh, for being responsible uh, citizens, for listening to what the officials uh, are saying and to all those who are really respecting uh, these uh, unwritten rules of, of making sure that we take care of each other, I'd like to express them, to them my warmest and sincerest uh, gratitude. They are, they are showing to be really responsible uh, citizens, and um, we're going to get through this together. So, uh, uh, Mayor, are a couple of questions I'd like to talk with you about. I know that on March 17th that you officially declared a state of emergency in the city of Vaughan. Um, yes. For our residents in Vaughan, what, what does that mean? What does that look like for, for the residents of Vaughan? Well, for the, the emergency is basically to access uh, resources uh, from uh, various uh, sources, and this will help us uh, get through it. We also implemented uh, measures, of course, uh, as you know, uh, to, in reference to taxation, and uh, we're giving uh, tax uh, relief uh, through uh, not uh, charging late fees uh, for the payments that, that are late. Uh, and this will go on until June 1st. But after that, Andrea, further extensions uh, may, be, may be granted thereafter. We understand that uh, some uh, bond families are concerned about really making ends meet. And during this time of uncertainty, uh, you have to give uh, some form of financial security for the citizens. And that is the reason why uh, we we moved uh, quickly. As you also know, the city of Vaughan, two weeks ago, we, we closed down our community centers and library branches. Mm -hmm. uh, we were very proactive in that area uh, because we we really believe that this was, uh, was a serious issue that needed to be addressed quickly. And we are learning, of course, we learned from the Chinese experience, the Italian experience. Um, we're doing all that we can uh, to make sure that people are very respectful uh, uh, of, of, the, of the rules. And, you know, that's, you know, it's common sense, uh, Andrea. I mean, at the end of the day, we have been told uh, many, many times uh, not to gather in large numbers, uh, practice social um, distancing. Uh, we've been told to wash our hands with soap and water often or alcohol-based hand sanitizer, sneeze, cough into the sleeve, avoid touching your eyes, nose, or mouth, avoid contact with people who are uh, ill and stay at home if you're feeling ill. Uh, yeah. And the city of Vaughan, we did that. You know, right out 80% of our planning department is home, working from home. 75% uh, of our legal department is working from home. Uh, we have told people right off the start, uh, stay home. And, and we also encourage companies and obviously um, other levels of government are practicing the same thing. I think we can get through this if we are disciplined and focused. The sure. shortest route to freedom uh, is discipline. And uh, I think we have to exercise that in, uh, in in this case and we need to do it in a serious way this is uh, a very serious uh, case that we're, we're uh, COVID-19 is very serious and, and should be taken seriously and in large part the citizens of Vaughan have responded exceptionally well to to the guidance that we have been given uh, I've addressed um, through um, major phone calls and uh, throughout the city uh, given them uh, uh, websites uh, that they can access for information. Uh, we're doing the very best to uh, di distribute information, as you are doing at uh, Chin and in the, today's uh, show as well. Mayor, Mayor, unfortunately, we're running out of time, but I, 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 can, I just want to ask one last question. I know, yes. I know, we have to go. Uh, I'm being told we have to go, but um, you know, a lot of kids uh, Monday are not going back to school. Families are staying at home. Um, what, what? 
message do you have to give to them uh, quickly also but also you know things like you know getting outside i just saw the warning the psa that uh, was put on your website regarding uh, do not use playgrounds something that is also you know i you know be living in the city of Vaughan, i see people using the playgrounds um taking their kids out there but now they're saying not to do that so what thoughts or advice do you have to them on how to navigate these next uh, few weeks Let's see if that's how far it goes, but the next few weeks at least uh, within their homes and within the community of Vaughan. This is a time to stay home. Uh, use whatever computer uh, uh, programming and, and the lessons and, and share with family. This is family time. This, is, this has forced us now to finally get together with the family, stay together, and, uh, and use this time wisely. Uh, this is what I issued that uh, the, the prohibition of park use because I think that that was also uh, could potentially uh, spread the, the virus. Uh, so we just have to be. And also, uh, one final thing: common sense. Common sense must must prevail. Yep. We have enough information to make wise decisions. I want to thank you for your time today, sir. Thank you for joining us again uh, via phone. And I look forward to the day that uh, we come back together live in our studios. And we'll come back stronger. Thank you so much, sir. We're going to take a short break right now with some music. This is, uh, we're going back to 2007 from Casino Rama. This is Johnny Morandi and a wonderful melody for you. Enjoy and we'll be right back. <laughs> 